This tutorial will show you step by step how to set up an Axis camera for event detection and uploading. The first step is to set parameters for motion detection. Go to the setup menu, select event configuration and then motion detection. Add a window. This window will determine the region of interest for motion detection. Change the shape of this window and its position so to cover the area where you want to detect motion. In this case, we want to detect cars as they go by through the field of view of the camera. On the right side, there are three parameters, object size, history, and sensitivity. As you move the object size up and down, you will see that the motion will be detected only if objects are above the threshold. History is a parameter that determines how to take in consideration the time an object goes through the region of interest. When this parameter is low, an object that appears in the region of interest will trigger motion detection for only a very short period. In our case, where we have objects going through the region of interest only for a fairly short period of time, we want to set the history at a fairly uh, low level. On the other hand, we can increase sensitivity a little bit just because we have a fairly low uh, history parameter. You see how uh, in this activity window, when there is motion in the region of interest, activity changes. We want to basically tune up these three parameters so to trigger events only when the car goes through the region of interest or only when objects you are interested go through the region of interest of your settings. So I'm going to increase the sensitivity a little bit and the object size. I'm, I'm going to reduce the object size. It looks like it's pretty much what I want. When cars go by, the activity is uh, red and that means an event will be triggered. Let me save this and go to the next step. The second step is to define an event server where to upload images when an event is detected. From the setup menu, go to event configuration and click on event servers. Add an HTTP server. Give it a name. Then make sure that URL is precisely how I type it here http colon slash slash service dot go to my camera dot com slash upload events one word with the capital E again make sure that is exactly how I type it here you will find this URL also on the help pages of the go to my camera website no other parameter is needed Click OK, and you can see now here in this uh, event server list, the go to my camera uh, server has been defined and will upload using HTTP images when an event is detected. The third step is to define an event type. An event type associates a specific trigger, in our case motion detection, with an action, in our case, uploading images to the Go to My Camera event server. Go to Setup, Event Configuration, and then Event Types. Let's add a trigger event. You may want to leave always and change the name to Motion from Camera. Here is triggered by motion detection. In window, default window, which is the window we defined in the previous step of motion detection. When triggered, what you want to do is to upload images of type HTTP to the server go to my camera. If the previous steps have been successful, you will find here the default window and you will find here the go to my camera name for the HTTP server. Then let's follow the next step very carefully. You may want to include some pre-trigger buffer and post trigger buffer in the video you receive. Let's say you want three seconds before the trigger at the frequency of five frames per second and three seconds after the trigger at the frequency of five frames per second. Then the most important step, make sure to click overwrite, use your own file format 
and to change the base file name for uploads. Here we are going to use a sequence of characters and you will find this sequence in the help pages of the GoToMyCamera website. The sequence is as follow. Pound sign, capital M, dash, percent sign, lowercase s, dash, pound sign, lowercase t, dash, pound sign, lowercase s, dot jpg. Again, this is very important that the base file name for event files is exactly as I typed here. And again, you will find this sequence of characters in the help pages of the Go, Go to My Camera website. Click OK, and we are now ready to receive events from this camera. If after setting motion detection, event server, and event types, you don't receive events uh, when motion is detected uh, to the Go to My Camera service, uh, something went wrong. Uh, first of all, uh, make sure that all the parameters for the event server URL and the event types uh, are the one that I have described here and also uh, on the Go to My Camera help pages uh, website. One way uh, to uh, uh, troubleshoot uh, a missed event upload can be to go to system option of the camera, support, and look at the system overview. Here you get a log uh, from the camera of uh, uh, recent uh, activity. However, a, a very common uh, problem with uploading images to the go to my camera server is DNS resolution. That is, the camera will not know how to resolve the go to my camera.com name for the server. Double check that on TCP IP advanced settings, you do have a DNS here uh, set up. For instance, in this case, we didn't have a DNS server, so we probably we didn't get uh, events uploaded. So if uh, your camera is set up with a static IP address, then you have to specify here a, a DNS server uh, for the event upload to work. Save and try again. Once you have uploaded successfully video from events triggered by motion detection, you may want to try to add different types. Go to event types and for instance click on add scheduled. With this dialog you can add an event by a schedule, that is, at a certain time of a day, a certain day of the week. Let's say, for instance, we want to have one minute of video from this camera every day at noon. So let's define a new event. Recurrence pattern is every day of the week. Start time is 12. Duration is one minute. And once uh, activated, we click on Upload Images. Upload type, again, HTTP. And the HTTP server is going to be the Go to My Camera server. Then leave it upload as long as the event is active. It's very important, again, that for the base file name, you click on Overwrite and use your own file format. The file format is the same we have used uh, for trigger events. And again, is pound capital M dash percent S dash pound T dash pound S dot J P G. Click OK. And here you will see another uh, event type for uh, a schedule event that will automatically trigger a one-minute video upload at noon every day.